Hello, hello everyone. Have I got the game for you? Quite the game, actually. Uh, we are going to do a little challenge I made for myself, which is that the only military units I will be using are Marines. Military units. Uh, there's other units get used, okay? But military units. And this is a funny game. Uh, it, there's some crazy moments. Uh, some fun strategies that go on and uh, we'll see the players we might jump around a little bit fast forward some because it is a fairly long game and there are some dead like dead zones so let's go uh, I'm actually gone Hello. at the start here for a bit I had to go help my grandma or something so all my Hello. people will be sit sitting there for a time we've got a French player uh, what is this Sweden and a British. This kind of ends up being a 1v1 most of the game. Because both of them get out. So I think I beat him. I don't know why Sweden left. But yeah, we got that guy. Just sit I'm just sitting there now. Yeah, Marines are interesting. They're, they're an infantry. They're not heavy infantry. And they're not skirms. They're like a... Yes. What are those guys? Suave type units. Except they have, they have pretty good siege. <clears throat> they do have good good range as well. Um, they beat cannons cost effectively because they're multiplier. They beat skirm pretty cost effectively, though not since you can't get that many of them. It's not the most like pop effective, I guess you would say, just because you can't have that many at once. Uh, they do have like 390 hit points in the late game. So, since Skirm don't have any multipliers, and they Marines just have more attack, they beat they beat Skirm pretty easily. Okay, there, now I'm back. Um... But yeah, we'll see how this game goes. If you hear noise in the background, don't worry, this is my sister. So I, I kind of messed up my start just because it was so late. Uh, I should have not built this train post. I should have just went ahead and sent this. But it kind of works out. I end up catching up with score later on. Actually, like age three, I'm catching up already. So what, what are they going for? So British has market start, one house. That's fine. I uh, wonder if we can go see their decks. There we go. Uh, that's interesting. Not sure how I feel about that. Carolians got mercs. Pretty standard for like a free for all. That's fine. Uh, what is this? Is Screlling. So this is yellow now. That's fine. That's fine. That's okay. He has the ranger, which he probably would have won if he... He's the guy I end up wanting, 1v1ing later on. But if he had had his longbows, he probably would have done a lot better. But he goes for rangers instead. But that's fine. Doofany. Don Funky. Don Funky. Okay. Yeah, this is just a normal, normal, very late game deck. Uh, so right here, I I sent my French guys. I was good enough to build a house. Uh, okay, I'm not sending that yet. I'm I had to build a house so I could start building more bills. Now I'm just saving up for uh, CDBs. So I'm going to have a really late age up with this and the CDBs Hello. and the house. But that, that's all going to work out. That's fine. Uh, the Akan is... I'm not even building native units. So both Akans and these other Yoruba aren't super helpful. Uh, Yoruba. Except for, you know, the resource gathering upgrades. Where's this? The resource gathering ones. So that's this one, which is good. And I think, yeah, this one as well is good. This, uh, this is good because it does help my infantry speed. Uh, my marine speed, but 
it does not help at all when it comes to build time because it's just it, I'm not relying off build time. Uh, did I get that scent yet? No, not quite there. Yes, my grandma is not supposed to walk much. Fight? I like this. What? Confused by that. Okay, CDBs are coming in. Very late age up. But I will have 18 bills, so that's kind of insane. I will be sending both of these. So that'll give me some some nice early uh, settler wagons. So that, that's like a four vil shipment and like 20 pops. So that's that's kind of insane. He's grabbing treasures. Red is grabbing both trade posts. He did have the uh, yes advanced trade posts. Uh, Skrellington. He went. Both of these. I would have gone seven her wood. I mean, you can always just put more bills building houses if you need. I don't know. I don't know how useful that is, really. I guess it's somewhat helpful. Uh, let's see. Tazuo. Okay, bad choice. I'm guessing he meant this in this. Uh, I, I hopefully he meant this in this. Yeah, not the greatest. Uh, I don't. A Sweden, you're not really relying on your bills because of the dwarfs, so I don't really like that. Also, no infinite card. I also have no infinite card, but that's because all my infinite things are units, okay. so it doesn't really help me. But yeah, we got a standard deck. We have all our marine upgrades. We don't need anything but that. Uh, we're getting as many TCs as we can because we're going to send the Green Mountain Boys. I think it's Green Mountain Boys, that shipment. And that'll give us uh, six from ET each TC. So you start out with three. This adds one more, so that's four. That's five, and then once you go H5, you can send this, this one again. So that'll be six. So six TCs in all. So you can, o you can over pop... With 16, I think. So, H5 Texas, you have a 16 uh, Marine card. So, you can have two 15 pop, and then you can send 36 more. I don't get that done just because I was in the situation where I couldn't wait that long. So, I ended up only over popping my bike. I don't know, 220. 220 pop, but, you know. So age two, uh, I'm gonna build the saloon with this. Other military buildings are useless to me, but that does give me a coin trickle. So you know I'll take it. Yeah, very late edge up. Pretty low score compared to other people. Okay, so he's going. This is this is a fairly smart build. Um. Just for a free for all, he, he's pretty turtly here. Yeah, except there's not really any early aggression. This would be fine if there was early aggression, but since there's not really any, you know, those those don't need to be there. Wouldn't be building longbows and just setting them down. But that's whatever. Um, let's see, he's taking the Akan. Got good upgrades here. Infantry train time and speed. Uh, gold and food. So that, those are all those are all great cards or great upgrades. Scrolling ten. Is he going heavy wood? Oh no, this is this guy. Sent the five five what? Yeah, that's completely pointless. If you already sent both of these, seven heart wood is instantly way more bills. So actually, let me do that math real quick. So you could have. Was it 87 with that upgrade? 87 wood per house. So 700 divided by 87. That's like an 8 bill shipment. That's 700, 400, 700 wood. So yeah, it is completely pointless to send those 5 bills. If you see the scrolling 10, I you know, don't want to beat the top on you, but 
you're going for the hot manners, there's not really any reason to send five. Tuzu uh, getting out the saloon or the Valhol. I don't know how to say that. Probably said it very wrong. Uh, heavy on the coin. I guess he's going for Mercs. Uh, I don't think I would be sending... Wait, whose deck am I on? Okay, here, Tuzu. Oh, okay. Um, I'm assuming there's... What's at the saloon? He wants to go Jaegers? Why is it not if you're going Jaegers? He's got a Carolean build here, but he's going Jaegers. I'm confused by that. He doesn't even have his H3 coin upgrade. Coin card. Yeah, that's not great. Not super happy about that. Uh, 10 Jaegers. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure what this is supposed to do. Okay. I'll be right back. Gotta clean up something real quick. Okay, uh, I'm back. I fixed what had gone wrong. I had spilled my drink. I have actually done that before on videos. So that's kind of sad. Maybe it'll just become a thing, but <clears throat> we're back. Not sure what that save game was. It's kind of, I don't know what that, what that happened. But we're off. This time I just spilled water. Last time I spilled a uh, diet soda. But that's whatever. Uh, I think I upgraded. Oh, let's go back to me. Okay, so at this point, he's age three, age two, age two. Pretty good FF. Uh, I don't really like that FF though, just because going, doing that and going Jaegers. I mean, if you're not doing anything with your Jaegers, this is not useful. But that's whatever. Uh, I don't like how few he's not. Yeah, he's not really relying using his corpse like he should be. I think he's probably fairly new. Is this dude just Taz? Yeah, I guess he built this deck, but I'm just not super happy with it. He's getting out like one Jaeger at a time. He it does have a market. I guess he's got those upgrades. But yeah, you gotta be you gotta be booming here, man. You gotta be dropping the corpse everywhere. Uh, send this. This isn't useful if you're building Jaegers. Uh, use that age 3 coin upgrade. Uh, there's a lot you need here. Uh, I, w I don't know if it, this isn't even a competitive deck, really. I mean, FFing and just getting, I don't know, 8 Jaegers at 12 minutes just isn't very good. I'm not. Yeah, it might need to work on that. Uh, Skrellington. Still building longbows. Not sure what the plan here. Guess he wouldn't just kind of wants to turtle, sort of turtle boom. Commandment. Yeah, he's completely turtling. Yes. Longbows. That's fine. The funky. Both native places. I guess he he does have no no native upgrades. Uh, I'm not sure why he's saving up so much. Oh, there we go. So many cards. Did he just say hit age three? I guess maybe he did. Yeah, it's fine. French is doing fine. Uh, he aged up with Town Center. I aged up. Uh, let's see. I aged up 
I also yeah, let me go to me. I sent this, both of these, so I got both of these out. Uh, there's that the Cold Pepper Minutemen, sorry. Uh, sent a TC, and also I will be building two TCs out of here. So that'll be a four TC boom. Already got both of these out, which are two more Sattler Wagons, so that's all good. TC going down there. Uh, no, this is the TC I built from here. I sent another TC down here. That's uh, this one here. Sort of booming. Uh, we got that 0.6 trickle, getting all my infantry upgrades. I don't think this actually does anything for me, or that one. But that's okay. Uh, I definitely am taking over the map more than others. This is fine. This is like SimCity and not really exactly what you need to do free for all, free for all. Well, you can't play free for all like this. But, uh... I, I, I like more of the take over the map kind of play. Another TC come down here, so that's four already. I don't think I send this until after H4. I did see, send the Marine card just because I had to have some kind of defense. Which, you know, this isn't the greatest greatest units, but 26, 16 range, 55 siege, that's all pretty good. You know, I just realized this is 2x versus siege units and 2x versus artillery. So does that 4x against most cannons? Does anyone have any cannons? What is your command? Because I know this will be two, like it might be 2x versus culverins, but 4x versus all other cannons. That'd be interesting to see, because that would make I'm sense ready. why they're a lot better at cannons than they feel like they should be. Okay, yeah, bro. If you gotta get it, if you're getting out all these, you really gotta be using them earlier. If you're gonna spend that much coin on that. You always just appear, turtling away, I'm booming. Four TCs already sent. Ford out. What is Skrullington? Uh, Skrullington's still age two. I'm okay with that. Staying age two. I guess at this point you can't really push. But really, he already has all his, his houses out, so there's not really any reason to stay age two anymore. You gotta be aging up there. Yeah, yeah getting on mills already. Look at that, 0.87. I'm getting 1.09. You really got to go out all this free food out here. Which, if you're worried about getting attacked, that's fine. But do some exploring and see that no one really has that much army. Eh, I guess Taz, Taz has some Jaegers, but he's not really doing anything. Like the walling from Red, that's all good. Three TCs. He's staying one TC. You, you, can't, keep, you can't keep staying one TC if you're going to just, just stay in base. I mean, you can't. St if you're not gonna go attack with these, you can't be staying one TC. People are just gonna outbuild you. Yeah. Twenty-two Jaegers, that's fine. Sixty minutes. Twenty-two Jaegers, sixty minutes in a free fall is fine. Uh, it's a lot of pure damage. So even I wouldn't be even worried about Cav really at this point. Um. I guess he goes in and tries to attack Yellow. Yeah. The Yellow's got so many walls. Can't really do much from there. Oh, th oh there I go. H4. Oh, can you not see chat? Oh, that's annoying. Can't see past chat to see like who went where. Oh well, uh, I don't. We might have hit age four about the same time. These people yes. are moving over to coin or food, I think. I uh, got all those TCs out. I think this is my next card. I did send the Marines just because I wanted to be able to get a big batch out. Yeah, he wanted to do some damage, but you can't. Look at all this. It's a problem with building some many Jaegers. Yes. Got 16 Marines here. That's good. Um, I should have been putting some pressure on right now. But that's just too scary, man. You can't do, really do that. Do I send this next? 
No, I hope I don't. Yeah, I do. Hello? It probably would have been better not to just wait to go H5 to send this and this again. But that's fine. It works out. Uh, where are Marines? What is your command? Okay, we got 32. That's a good what is group. Your command? 33 range already. 56 siege. 56 siege is pretty good. Is there any cannons? I want to see if they have 4x. Oh well. Yeah, he's sitting in base. I just don't like that very much. Taz. Yeah, and, and it's just not great. You gotta, you gotta not be just okay. sitting in base with a bunch of Carolines if you're not free TC. Walls from green is from red. I mean, it's good. Uh, you need more houses. Taz, if you wanna like, you probably won't watch this, but if you wanna friend me. We could work this up. We could help you out. Work on this build. I have done uh, Swedish free for alls. You should go watch those. Uh, trying to do more pressure with the, these guys, I guess. Did he? Uh, oh, he uh, got the skirmisher upgrade. Don Funky. Okay, good walling. Uh, yeah, barracks out front. That's all fine. Got our fort up here. How many marines we at? Oh yeah, I was getting going around getting treasures here. I'm liking the cards, double double factories. Fort, fort is good. This is all good here. Uh I would like to see both of these. Or at least this. Okay, he's gonna go H5. That's real good. Going H5 already. Or he hopefully he's gonna. Uh, I'm not able to go H5 quite yet. You probably... Ah, uh, this is... If he could have gone up here, it would have been best. But I'm about to go up after him. Tazu. 49 vils. How much does... Uh, I have 890. Don Funky is 58. Which is... What did they gather? Like 15% quicker. So that's like 60 something. 62 or 3. Scarlington at 51 vils. That's... No, you can't do that, man. If you're going to be British, you can't be behind in vils. 37 longbows, but not doing anything with them. He finally sends out vils, but... That's not great all around. I mean, it. if you want to play like this, like, go ahead. That's fine. You know, this is the way you enjoy it, is by fortifying up and stuff that's all well and good but it's not the greatest for winning Don Funky is probably the best other player other than me okay going to age 5 with Texas and we'll check out what cards Texas has a little bit later this is I love this 100% income oh, so good let's see uh, I think at this point I have uh, all of my cellar wagons. Yeah, all five. Hundred vils, but five of those are so that's like hundred and five vils, more like yeah, more like hundred and five. Uh, I would like to see taking this. We got a bunch of extra wood. Drop two, 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 right here. You need to drop two seats. Oh, pff. this is me, my dumb self. All on blue. Yeah, my score is insane at this point. So, French did hit age 5 before me, but I am going up. Jaegers, that's fine, but... Yeah, I need to see more from this, man. I like the layout of the town, though. It's pretty, pretty nice layout. It's kind of spaced out, but you need to kind of be everywhere if you're going to play Sweden like this. Let's actually go to Taz. Yeah. So we got 22. So this is 4,400 gold, I believe. He has 4,400 gold worth of units sitting there doing nothing. That's, yeah, that's that's really a setback. 
Like it, this. Pull more villagers over to food. Uh, use. Oh, this is not. Oh, like 50. What is that? 44. And now this will be. 6400 6, gold now? Just sitting there. Yeah, it's just kind of sad. You just got to be using your units. Same with Skrallinger. He's he's has units with uh, the bills, but he's not really using them. I mean, let's see, Skrallinger. He's got the units with the longbows, but he's just sitting them in base. Yeah, I'm kind of taking over the map. Another TC out. I think I have six now. Six, five. Can I only get five? No, I'm dropping another one, I think. Somewhere. One, two, three, four, five. Can I only get five? It should be six. Because three, four, five, and then this again would be six. Okay, this uh, right here is the important card. This is what you will see happens later. This card is useless for me. There's no reason for me to have that. Who's shooting? Oh, yeah, I'm a sieging. Uh, I do... Let me just pause that for a second. I want to explain that card real fast. So, we got Imperial Marines here. All good. Well and good. Uh, but this is the star of the show. 16 Minutemen. Uh, or Marines. Which are what their upgraded are. And whenever your fortifications and walls spawn Minutemen, you get units. But wait! It's also all buildings. So, all buildings, plantations, or estates, sorry, whatever, mills, anything. I thought it was just fortifications and walls. But all buildings makes a huge difference. So the way they do the math is about every, I think it's every hundred wood is you spend on a building is two marines. So 50 wood, wood per marine. But with the upgrade here, uh, you can't see the upgrade when you build those yes. carts. It's half that. So it ends up being only 25 wood per marine. Now, to be fair, that seems super cheap, but those buildings have to get destroyed. If they don't get destroyed, you don't get those marines. But we'll keep going with this. So I got 64 here. I'm not sure how many skirm he has. Uh, I didn't want to put too much pressure because I wanted to get to a full pop and then over pop with this. Uh, marine upgrade, that's good. 51 right here, Imperial. 64 Siege. Oh, that's one good. This is this is a point right here that matters. So these are not Imperial yet. These guys automatically become Imperial, but look at the hit point difference. These guys have more range, but the damage and the hit points is insanely over. Uh, you might be like, well, that's just because they're veteran, but even later you'll see. You'll see how make the differences. Yes, what is ready? Ready? The only problem is, unlike Marines, Skirm are massable. Yeah, we got another TC here. Uh, I wanted to go around try to get in his base. I should have gone over here, but that's okay. I didn't know. What is your command? I love the look of them. Look at that. Those guys look so cool. I mean, look at the hats. Look at those hats. How epic. And their beards. Ah. Oh, the beards, the hats, this whole thing is just beautiful. But I do realize they actually have black ones, which I, I'm yes, guessing that's historically right. correct. I think I've heard of, you know, the... I know later on there is the... Oh, yes. I know their name. I just can't think of it. Yes, I'm ready. That, that, those flying guys. But, uh... At this time, I'm not sure that there were actually black men, like, in the Marines, but I actually should check on that. That would be cool. Yeah, those hat designs are epic. Look at how one side they're, like, pinned up and stuff. Oh, oh the, the, the design on these is just beautiful. Uh, dropping, we dropped another fort. We're calling out Marines again. So, how many do we get here? 16 per call. So right now, I'm pretty cost-effectively beating the skirm. So it's 400 wood, 400 coin for 16 marines. 
Uh, so I, I think this goes over. I think this pulls over pretty. Uh, I'm, I, let me just do the. I know that math is wrong, because it's four hundred food, four hundred gold, and right now it's showing sixty food, seventy five gold for one. So go sixteen. Let's see. 800 divided by 16. So it's 50 food, 50 gold per marine. So that is wrong. I'm quite certain. So that might should be fixed. Okay, okay. So we're Imperial now. So see here, skirmishers, they have more range. So they can pick off yes, these guys. These guys have 390 HP. They do have that 16 range and 50 range attack. So these guys don't even multiply. These yes. guys aren't heavy infantry. They're just infantry. So this is just a flat 31. They have that 30% range what resist, but the 390 is just too much. Uh, I want to go to... Let's go ahead and play this, but... Um, he does not have his skimp, uh, infantry... Or his skirm HP, sorry. So that, that's something he needs to add. 7,700 and... 3400 gold that's fine he's good on resources uh i can't he can outmask me here i just can't keep up with his mass because even though my guys are better fighters and will win this fight uh he just can keep building units when i can his skirm are insta building as well but yeah i'm definitely winning this cost effectively but not unit effectively just because I can't have as many units. I actually want to do the math on that hit on those hit points real quick. Uh, so what what do we do? So these guys have 252 uh, and their range resist is what? 30? So 252 divided by what? what 0.7? So they have 360 range HP I believe. But I've just straight 390 hit points. So that's actually fairly high on their part. That's good. What is your but, I'm ready. yeah. The range the range is what hurts me most. Because I beat them what man on man. But uh, if he can just I'm keep ready. picking it away at me, that's my loss. What is your I'm ready. But 55 range attack versus 31. Cyan still will not really do anything. Gil is just building up. What is your Got 50, 45 here. Do a, I already sent this. That's okay. 16. Uh, so what you'd like to see here, what I would what I would like to see me do, is just wait up. I'm doing just some sieging just because uh, I wanted to get rid of that wall. But what I would like to see me do is be able to get full pop. You know, 199 pop and over pop with 15 of these guys and then send this. But he starts pulling up units. Uh, he, he pulls up with his Voltiger, so I, I just have to start fighting. Yo, still not doing anything. Cyan, really, really not doing anything. Yes. 45 here. That's all good. I didn't know he was trying to wall that. What is your command? Just kind of sitting and waiting. How's our scores? 87 to 74. So I got 12,000, 12,000. He's got 5,000, 5,400, and 2,600. That's food and coin, uh, as you can probably see. 32 on wood. Imperial Gendarms. Ah, that's smart. These guys have a hard time versus cav because they have no cav multipliers. So that's smart. I'm fine with that. I'm getting out the outposts just because I want to be able to win this fight here. Even if I can't push him, I don't want him to push me. So, I, uh, when I was playing, I do beat this guy. But, uh, in the end. But when I was playing, I was wondering, like, why he surrenders. Because I didn't, like, beat him very badly. Or I wasn't even beating him, really. But I'm assuming he ran out of resource. Oh, look right here. Brings out a batch and he already is way low on gold. Uh, I'm going up here to destroy that. Uh, I would send this probably. Coin is fine. 
That 59 siege is real good. Yeah, each wall. Let's see. So, unlike, so generally, here, well, uh, sorry, let me go back. This, this thing, you know how I said it's like 25 wood for a marine or 50, but each wall gives you one. So, honestly, walls are your cheapest, the cheapest way you can get marines. But, unlike yes. other buildings, you don't, people don't really have to focus down the walls. Or just, like, destroy them obsessively. Uh, I'm assuming Cyan just ends up having to leave. 42 coin. Yeah, it's... Or 42. Okay, go in H5. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Yeah, he just left. Not sure why, but... Oh, well. Skrullinger's up here. Wellington, sorry. Longbows. I like longbows. The longbows were the right play. Wish you would have used them, but uh, they're good versus Marines. But sadly, later on, he does send this to trade them out, which is not a good play. Counter heavy infantry. Better. My guys aren't heavy infantry. So French has 5,800, 2,400. I have 1,900. 1500 what is your massive eco difference um but i can't keep up my mass like he can okay so we overpopped here yes uh we did not get i saw that army i was worried he would just pull up and attack me so i felt like i had to send this already even though like i explained earlier i wish i could have overpopped to what was it 215 and then i wish i could have dropped this actually let me uh let's see. Let me do some math real quick. So 215 plus 36. So I could have overpopped to 251 if done correctly. But I yes. felt like I, ha I had, yes. had too much pressure on me. But 95 Marines though. That's a good group. Uh, he's got the mortars. I'm fine with him pushing me. If I lose this fort, I get 22 Marines. So yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Have yet to send this, but that's, that's a very helpful card. So I feel pretty safe pushing him here. Uh, I did not see the Gendarms yet, so that worries me. Okay, the, the Gendarms pull up. I'm like, oof. But I think I thought I I was pr fairly certain I had enough mass here to take them down because even though it's not like they're not their hand attack is not good versus Cav, they have enough range attack to handle it. Boston Outpost, got Marines. Anything he takes down here honestly helps me. Pulling out with more Outposts, that's all good. I start winning here, pushing it back. Uh, the Voltigers, 252. My guys beat them effectively as long as they're in range. They are a little bit faster, 4.2. My guys, or 4.4 my guys, 4.2 his. So I do win uh, the speed. But if he can keep out of range of my units, he wins this. Got 85. He's got the instabuilding skirm 70. That's really rough on mine. Okay. 74. Another group came out of that outpost. Uh, 60. Oh, there we go. Look how low is going to getting. Be called Marines again. What you, yeah, he's just instant building these. I okay. So I thought he just had this big mass. I did not really realize he was instant building them. So I thought he just had all that, you know, just behind his base, and he hadn't pulled them out. So I didn't realize he was using so many resources. I thought I was losing this. But look at those ecos. So different. Just massive. Got laser dude up front. That's so funny. That's hilarious to me. Neil Armstrong. Yeah, love that. Got 52 Marines. See, th right here I thought I was losing. I was like, oh, why do you surrender? But, yeah, like, no. 
No, no, no coin. Won that. So now doing? it's just a 1v1. <sighs> Love these dudes. Yes. Look at that. Mwah. Just amazing. Uh, your spies. I did get spies. Uh, since my guy, I don't spend many resources as USA Marines only. So spies is nothing really. Let's speed it up a little bit. I, d I didn't know why he left. Okay, I want to speed it up a little bit just to, to move on a bit. Nothing very interesting happens until I start building this base up here. So, he's very timid. He did not want to come for pressure. Dropping all our forts. Uh, we will build a thing here to build buildings. Yes. Factory. Yeah, I dropped that spec here. Good day, sir. Haha. <laughs> okay, okay. So I realized, like, I gotta get some more units. Like, these marines can't really keep up, as I saw from this. Or as I thought I saw from this, I didn't realize how cost-effectively I was winning that battle. But that was a big difference there. What is your command? I came down to get this for the speed boost. At least I think it's a speed boost, right? Yeah, infantry plus five speed. Five percent, sorry. Oh, look at this. He's got his cannons in the middle. That's adorable. I like that. Oh, ranger upgrade. Okay. The rangers are pretty good. Very low HP. Uh, they do fine, but yeah, I'd, I'd rather see longbows here. Especially against marines because, you know, I'm ready. they don't take that damage, that bonus damage. Present. Surgeons, uh, they have a lot of HP. Orders. 46 HP. They're pretty expensive, though. What is this, 225? But add so many extra resources that I end up just using these as like a beat shield. Uh, these are not military units, guys. They're not military units. See? Heals injured units. Type healing unit. See? Not military. Orders. Ooh, I can get some extra HP using those. I do some very... Because I have to pe protect my marines so much, I do some very interesting things for just extra HP anywhere I can get them. Okay, I see yes. that. What is your yes. what is your I, I end up going all the way back here to destroy all these town centers. Uh, Yell's kind of branching out a little bit. But really, he's just sitting there. Not great resource. He is getting his capital upgrades. That's fine. He could have boomed much better. I don't know if he's just trying to build Georgetown or trying to win the game. But... Or Yorktown, sorry. Yeah, state capital. That's good. Yeah, the eco difference is insane. Score difference is insane. How many eco cards does he even have? Oh, Ranger combat and hit points. Okay. Uh, Yeah, no food upgrade here. Why are you going to use this if you're not going to build those extra TCs? Oh, I got one. I'm okay with this deck, but no, I'm not okay with this deck. He's not branching out enough for this to be useful. This is not useful since he's not going longbows. Not great overall. Overall. I mean, it ends up doing fine. I mean, what? why is there a battleship? Oh, it's just the beginner deck. Okay. Whatever. Uh, so even though I win this, it seems a little bit sad to win this because he's clearly not the best player. But honestly, uh, no matter who you play against, it doesn't really matter how good you are. If you do what I end up doing later on, you will win. There's there's no way to lose really. Later on, right here, I wasn't. I was figuring out this strategy as I went along. So a better player could have beat me at this point. But once I got late enough, once I kind of figured out what I was doing, uh, there's no beating really, beating it really. What is your command? Especially way later. Let's actually speed this up. OK, 
Getting out my surgeons. Needed that meat shield. Building a wall. That's good. Just don't love this. Musketeers is probably the right choice. Except he has no musketeer cards, which that's sad. Let's take this down to one. Okay, we yes. got 79 marines. Medic present. We got 10 surgeons. That's all well and good. Uh, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna call this out one more time. Orders? Yes. This is kind of a beautiful battle, though. I mean, he's got his town, and then I got the sport. Yeah, it's fine. So, what I kind of wanted to get to about this is that, uh, even though I didn't do this strategy the best, once I get, like, hour 30, I kind of realized, like, the potential of this. I, I saw some potential, but I didn't realize it. I didn't realize, like, how much you could really do with this. And so you'll see how much later... And I could have do, done more a lot earlier, but I'm ready. whatever. Yes. Got 94 here. Uh, they got good siege. Probably a little bit bunched up. Uh, these outposts do fairly well. I wish these classified as siege units with how high it is, but they don't. So they take in full damage. These are doing three acts because these are, in yes. fact, infantry. They're not heavy or anything like that, but they are infantry. So they take all of that. Oh, let's pause this here. Let's look at this. So this is just artillery, not siege unit. Okay, really? so only they only take two X. That's fine. Uh, I'm losing units here. Not very, not the most effective use. The rangers are doing fine. Forty percent rangers list. That's pretty good. Uh, rockets doing a lot. That's whatever. Six forts here. It's a lot of hit points. Yeah, I'm just losing here. I can't keep up with that. If I did this challenge in the future, I think I would allow for like mortars. No other cannons, but mortars, just because you can't really fight and do siege at the same time with this units. Because even though they do have good siege, they just can't keep up. He can't really push me very hard here because he's got not much siege. He does have some cannons. That's whatever. Yeah. I'm gonna change this deck a little bit. Get rid of that. Add some more. Is there anything here I needed? No. That would be useful. No, that's actually not useful. Never mind. Don't have any infinite cards. Yeah, nothing there is useful for me. So right here, I have no units. I can't call Marines out. He's sieging me. I'm worried. Nothing I can do here. Yes. Uh, I do have the higher eco, so that's that's good. I start pump. I didn't realize how much HP these had yet, but I start pumping out surgeons and using them. Every time a wall gets destroyed, I get a unit. So that's yeah. I got four Marines, but they just got taken down real quick. TC's also, yeah, all these buildings give me units. Is that the field hospitals? I don't think I get any units from the field hospitals to be destroyed. Strangely enough, I guess they're just not tagged or whatever. Yeah, I didn't get any. So I got 21 here, so I throw them into battle. Nice beat shield. Uh, I think I beat this as well. So let me do that math real quick. So 205. Divided by 0. 0.6. 341. Yeah, so... They outrange me, but I do win the one-on-one, -on -one if I'm in range at least. Surgeons are getting there. Five damage. Not very useful, but... Uh, 
The uh, 486 hit points is useful. Quite the meme strat, honestly. He's built somewhat fast with the lag next to it, but not the fastest. Not like the most you know, useful. Or not the uh, not the fastest building yet. Yes. I do get to heal my, my marines are so costly that it is good that I get to heal them up with these as well. Guys, we're not even halfway done. Might speed this up more. So rockets is actually a really good choice here. Uh, because these guys will take full damage and these guys the full four fifty damage. That's that's pretty big there. Speed this up a bit. I I didn't want to do anything here. He didn't want to do anything. Oh wait 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 wait. Uh, he tries to drop the fort, which was way too far what forward. I do get that down. I was doing this, so I was trying to do this. It doesn't end up working because he never really attacks. He was smart and not like focusing my walls very much. So that that's smart on him. But I was hoping he would focus my walls and I would get units from that. But that's whatever. Uh, they're not doing the greatest. 315 hit points. That's fine. I have to back up here. I should have been using my range advantage more. There's too many times when I was just fighting straight on. I should have been running and shooting more. I'm ready. Because I think, yeah, 4.6. Yes. I do have the speed advantage. What is your speed and range advantage. So both of those are good. I should have fought more this early on. I should have been fighting more under here. I mean, look at this. This is crazy. Is this 10% hit points? Damage to all units, damage to all buildings. If units pop out when the walls get destroyed. I was trying to do something sneaky here. It doesn't pay off very much. Whatever. Uh, I can't find it. Fight it. Fight it very well here. Just don't have enough. Yeah, these these guys are getting wrecked. Even though I have no tags, they still get one shot by these. I think. No, they don't quite get one shot, but they get beat pretty bad. I should have backed up here. See, I could have been using my range. I, I, I learned I learned later more how to fight this. Like right now, if he was a better player, he would have beat me. But I do learn a bit more like how to fight this. That was an accident. Attack move didn't work. The rockets. I like the rocket play. Uh, thir I don't like the resources. Not great on resources. My, I'm very well on resources. Just diving for the cannons. Uh, that was an accident. I had these in a control group. He can't really push me, even though he has so many cannons and stuff. He can't really push me that well. I just can't fit effectively defend. Yeah, just relying on these dudes to do whatever little they can. These these guys are just distractions, is what they are. But I mean, that's kind of what the that's, that was the purpose of them, is just to distract. Ah, uh, he stole my flag. I lose there. If I lose this, I get 22 marines, so I don't feel too bad about that. Boom. 21. I thought it was 22. I might have lost one right when it died. Yeah, he was a... Yeah, there you go. Now he focused. Oh. They just shot, so that was kind of sad. These guys can seem to tank it pretty well. Good distraction there. It's all working pretty well for me. Uh, he's getting another batch out. Marines are getting called here. 
So I will finish this this way. So I destroyed all my TCs so I could rebuild them in the front lines because I realized I could get uh, units from them. It's 10 units yes. each. Yeah, 10 units per destroyed town yes. center. Good day, sir. Hello. Medic present. Yeah, pushing here is a bad idea. I should have just tried to wait for more Marines. But I felt like I had to do something. What is your command? I'm ready. I did get distracted doing something else, otherwise I wouldn't have sent these guys in. I, I just felt like I had to get through some of those walls. I didn't know what else to do really. So I got this down, that was kind of funny. Uh, if I would have gotten it down, that would have been really useful. Because that is a lot, that's like 95 spaces. That's 95 units possibly. Good day, sir. 10 bison each time. Or 3 bison each time. I like that. Uh, when. <sighs> so, all existing and newly constructed team town centers spawn 3 bisons. But it's all 10 centers. That's a whatever. Orders. Yeah, I'm just I'm just scrambling here. I shouldn't have committed this much at this point. Uh, holding off doesn't really help me because honestly, him destroying my buildings helps me. So trying to distract him from doing that doesn't do anything for me. I should have just let him do that. Boom, ten marines. I should have just kept, every time one got destroyed, I should have just sent it back here until I got like, I don't know, 50, then I should have attacked. That's whatever. Push the artillery here, that's good. Uh, yeah, I wish I would have seen longbows, more longbows here. Rangers even would have been better. Well, maybe not. Get on there, boys. I mean, it's going down. <laughs> not very much. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. Good day, sir. A little bit scary there. Look at this. Oh, so many resources. I don't know how many bills that is. And they're like usually four, so this is like eight bills each. I, think. I was just trying to snipe these. At this point, I hadn't thought. I had realized at this point that like, oh, keeping my buildings doesn't matter. So you'll see me learn that a bit more later on. I was very worried about losing them for some reason. So I shouldn't have actually been sending these guys straight at these. I should have been sticking them in here so that these would have some range attack. And then, so I would have like, while they're in here, they would have like the attack from the range and then they could have popped out and tanked. That's whatever. Yeah, I pretty handily beat them here. Musketeers are fine. I, I like the Musketeers. I think the Rangers would have done better. No, but the Rangers have a really hard time against Seas. So I think the Musketeers actually are better. Because the Rangers struggle a lot more against those tanky dudes. So yeah, here I'm kind of... I wonder how many guys. So 22 each times 6. Uh, what's that? A hundred and like forty? Hundred and thirty? Hundred and thirty-two, I think. Units, Marines. If I lost all six of these, so I could have just every time one died. If I would have sent back here, once all this was gone, I could add like two hundred Marines, and I could have just pushed at that point. 
wonder if I should turn down the game volume just a little bit. Uh, let's turn it down to like 13 because it's pretty loud in my headphones. We'll go down to 12.5. I hope it sounds good for you. Scrambling a bit. This is useless. Uh, I should be willing to lose these. I do get some a snipe there, so that's pretty good. These guys cost a lot. Or they're worth a lot of resources. If I was him, I probably would have been focusing more other places, but I don't know that he had spies at this point. Let me actually check. He does not have spies, so he doesn't realize where I am. He thinks this is my town. How many resources do you have? Okay, so he's gaining resources, but too much on wood. Too many on wood for him not building wood units. Doing some tanking. Come on, take down the mortars. Come on, take down the mortars. Come on. Come on. Let's, let's, let's go. <laughs> I'm sorry, watching these guys just punch dude is pretty funny. 22. Boom. Yeah, I started just regrouping. Oh, there we go. 43. Uh, so I can't trickle, I can't trickle fights. So I have to just go full on or not fight. I have to either be full on with a big mass or just not fight. So that's why I started just trying to save my units whenever I could. Losing you, you losing buildings, but gaining units, so that's all good. Outposts are a little different. I think I'm only getting three per outpost. Destroyed. Oh no, five, five. So yeah, it's 50, 50 wood is calculated for you. So I feel pretty safe to push here. But in, oh wait. Oh yeah, I was gonna push. Yeah, there we go. But I was worried about those guys. But yeah, now we're just going in. We cleared up those musketeers real fast. This whole this whole thing will get gone. There we go. Let's go. That was a good fight. He has all these bills right here, which I realize, and I send these guys to go fight them, which is kind of funny. Attack move. Look at those hit points. Ooh, beautiful. I wish they had like little knives. Like little uh, surgeon knives, that would be kind of funny. They all have mustaches, huh? All mustache men. You can speed this up a little bit until the next fight. Nothing very important happens in between, just kind of remassing. Yeah, just regrouping. Because I, 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 I have to, like I said, I have to fight in waves. Oh, these are all dead by, uh, you know, just these shooting and these getting hit. A lot of dead animals. Every time I build a DC, I get three uh, bison, so that's kind of insane. I wonder... Wait a second. So bison have 500 food each. So if you're US, you could build your town centers for... 250 wood get 1,500 wood food of bison. So two... That's kind of crazy. Huh. Someone should look at that. That might, that might would work, actually. Might be effective trade, honestly. For the quickness. Probably not, though. Especially H5, but maybe. Medic. Yeah, killing bills. Oh. 
Yeah, trying to go around. Yep, that's good. I love how fast they can take those down. Kind of sad they have an infantry tag at all, but that's whatever. The hardest would be against Lancers, I think. I think that's what they'd really struggle with. The Lancers don't really siege very well, so if you're under here, I think you'd be fine. Nice pincher. Let's go. Should have been using my range here. Back up, shoot, back up, shoot, but it's fine. Getting bills. Explorer's going down. I have no infinite cards, so that's whatever. This card is just the thing that makes your uh, forts build units for free. That's fine, but not really good for me right now. I didn't want to lose all these, so I just wanted to back up. I love the sound of these guys' guns. I wonder what kind of guns they're supposed to be. Look at that. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's kind of funny. How many there are there? Thirty-five just right there. Yeah, him getting under my buildings is good for me. My third's getting a little sore, so I'll be a little quieter for a while. I'm trying to to flank him. Yeah, these trickle fights are just hard for me. Because even though I win uh, group fights, you know, right there, I won. So we had like the same amount of units or whatever. You can just pull up another group when I can't. Well, I can't. But I can always just retreat back under buildings. And that's really what you got to do with this strategy is just constantly be retreating under your buildings. And just constantly retreating, honestly. You basically retreat until you win is what kind of ends up happening. Because either they get tired or as they destroy your buildings, which they have to do. Um, as that goes on, you know, they're just kind of... You're just kind of keep going because you can get, you know, one plantation for 300 food. And you get 12 marines when it gets destroyed. Yes. And with mills, with these guys, they literally have to destroy every mill for you to be like, for it to, for them to like force win, they have to destroy every mill. Because your mills can build your settler wagon, so you can always rebuild as long as you have a mill. But they kind of don't want to kill your mills because that gives you more marines. So it's like a lose-lose. I tried doing some tricky stuff here, but it doesn't work. More units, that's all fine. Got both here for double the production. Yeah, so he's going to do this. He didn't really end up doing much with it though. I guess he still doesn't have spies. Yeah, he's just like, I feel like this isn't his town, so let me go try to pack his stuff. But no fam. So yeah, uh, I made some mistakes in these fights, but just for future reference, you gotta use your range to out. You gotta use your range on the musks. You gotta keep these guys coming out, and you gotta constantly build buildings. I have 33,000 wood. I should have been building so many mills and plantations everywhere or estates. Uh, so mills, um, they're more annoying because you can just build more of them for less wood but states actually if you want that space if you want the time don't want if you want it to be less time consuming the states are actually better because you get 12 you get 12 marines whereas with these you only get eight so if you want to fill up the map go mills uh if you want to spend less time filling up the map go estates because that's just it's just more uh, effective well, I kind of wanted to just fill up the map and be annoyed. 
So I go, I do a lot of mills. But actually, I, I realized this after the game, is that if you were on like Arabia, or had any place with what I think the Berber allies, you, oh, you could be so annoying. With like the slowdown mechanic, that would just be the worst. Because with the slow mechanic, I fill up like this whole, all this gets filled up with estates and plantations. Or estates and mills, sorry. This whole thing. And if you had to sludge your way through that, oh my word, that'd be so annoying. That's all good. Who would name it Fort Wood? Ticonderoga, that's fun. Armstrong. Jackson. I guess Wood was the last name. Hello. One thing that's kind of funny is when these get destroyed, it'll drop four marines in there. Uh, yeah, four marines, and they'll just sit there. They're stuck in that spot, so they're like a mini tower then. Yeah, and these guys are focusing on this, and these guys can then shoot them with the range. I'm pulling ahead and score. He, his score is going up here. Uh, not. Oh wow, he's really low on food. Dude, bro, he only has 56 bills. Oof, that is a mistake. But he does have the infinite rocket shipment, and he's constantly producing rockets, so that's working pretty well. See, even at this point, if he was a better player, even at this point, he could, well. At this point, I don't know if he would win, even if he was better at this point. Because if you're better, you're going to be destroying more buildings. And the more buildings you destroy, the more units I have. So it's like, if you're bad, you're not destroying as many buildings. So I have less units. And if you're good, you're destroying more buildings. So I have more units. I, I don't know, it's, it's like a paradox. Seems pretty win-win for me, though. That was that batch of musketeers and stuff sent up. Eight rockets, that's fine. Cause look, I always I can always just retreat back here and let them destroy buildings and that rebuilds my army. Oh let's go to me. Yeah. He, yeah, his his resources are really messing with him. You need more vills here. I killed all these, and he's just not rebuilding them. He has all this wood. He should have just been rebuilding them. This does allow him to have more pop. So that, later on, so it's not really better for him. It almost is better for him to have less pop, but also bad because, you know, he obviously has less resources. But he gets a lot of rockets and stuff, which is pretty, pretty effective. If he was just building musketeers, I would absolutely have won us earlier. Because I can just run and shoot, and with just musketeers, you can't be seizing all this down. So he uses that extra pop space for rockets, but ends up running out of resources. So it's another paradox. Less villagers equals more cost-effective fights because you can have more units shooting at once, but also less cost-effective because you don't have any resources. Just realizing there's tons of little paradoxes within this, but whatever. Hello. I'm so mad about these. That was dumb. I tried to build more. Oh, I thought I had one, so I was just like, let's get some stuff out. Let's just speed this up a little bit. I know I had some pauses, so it might end up being longer than the actual game was, but... Um... Oh. Let's speed that deck down. Oh, 
What was I deleting? Oh, I was deleting this down here. Oh. Okay, he's pulling out with another batch. That's fine. Uh, he was very low on food, and I think these guys cost him coin. So I guess that's fine. If you're running low on food, you need to move more over to coin. Rangers will be fine. Yeah, just win with. If I kept running and shooting, that win. I win that. Pretty nifty feature. If you click all, you can see all the health bars. So that's cool. I do get this. Not really useful. Gets pretty dredgy from here on out because I kind of around this he had been pushing me earlier, but it's around this time that I like realized like oh, like I just win this by length because he can't beat me. I might not be able to go through his town real quickly and kill all his bills, especially since that point two five against bills. But like he can't he can't beat me and I can't beat him, so like <laughs> I might as well just back up. Honestly, what I need to do here, what would have been the best strategy, is if I just went back here, pulled out all my units, and let him kill all this. I could have had a hundred, I could have, I would have had the resources to rebuild all this. I would have had a hundred and something marines, maybe two hundred marines I could just fight with. So it's like, it's like just let, it's like a feigned retreat, just act like you're losing, and then come in with a massive army and destroy them. Oh well, that would have been funny. I want to retreat up a little bit, it, or speed up a little bit. Not a whole lot happens for time. I, if I do this strategy again, I have some things I'm going to change. Like, I'm going to allow myself to build polar bears. Because that'll be a funny strat, because every time I build the town center, I'll get like six polar bears. So that'll be fun. And I'll also know to let my ability get destroyed more, because there's way too many times I can protect them. Marines. It's kind of a regrouping. These guys, honestly, uh, this is fine. Just sending these every once in a while. I don't really need to delay. Delaying doesn't really help. Because, like I said, the losing buildings is good, but that's whatever. I tried to do a little flank. Uh, I should have waited a little bit longer. Uh, built up a bigger batch of marines and then sent them. But, you know. They're just sieging this too slow. Even though they have a good siege. Just not fast enough. Getting good batch back here. That's fine. They get through a wall. These guys can take a lot of hits. It is only 60. Yeah, go at it, surgeons. He would have been doing a lot better with his uh, red coat cards. I want to test this again against a little better players. Uh, because, like I said earlier, I think even if it was better players, I could still... I, I'm now better at this strategy now. Oh look, I lost the building. 22 marines. <laughs> oh my, that's beautiful. I really like that. Yes. Let's speed this up a little bit.
Look at this, 75, good batch. Hopefully I build a gate there, I think I do. Cause that would be a no, oh, oh, oh. Look at that, just taking him down. I kinda wanna lose that, cause that'll give me a lot for jumping a four back there, that's good. Okay, once I lose that, I got like a little over 95, so this is when I think I push. Put them on the thin mode. March board. There we go. It's a good fight. So the thin mode, where it like, it's this mode here, where it like supposed to spread them out. Look how tightly packed these guys are. But what it does is it makes them thinner. This is actually a real battle strategy that Gustav Aldolfus did is if your ranks are thinner, like more stretched out, you take your guys die less because of like uh, in this, it's because of rolling basket, rolling cannonballs. Like in, in the game, it's because it hits and the rolling cannonball will like hit more guys. Uh, but in real life, it's just because if you have less thick amount of guys, thick guys, uh, if your units your army is more thinned out. Uh, you know, like, what is this? Uh, that shot. Ah. This shot's where it, like, it shoots like a shotgun or whatever. That, that'll harm your, harm less people if your guys are more yes. spread out. But in this, it doesn't really spread them out. It just makes them into a longer line, even though they're pretty thickly packed in that line. I'm ready. Tightly packed in that line. But it just helps for, uh, rolling cannonballs just a little interesting thing that i see but sometimes it does spread them out so i don't know how it decides like when to make them real thin or when to just tighten and pack them in a long line i don't know the mechanics behind that but that's whatever i don't know if that makes sense makes sense to me but i said it so that could just be me making things up in my own head good day sir I should have pulled it farther over here. Attack this very edge. Right here, I'm getting shot by four. Bad. Just like over here, I probably should have just tacked here. I do get through here. Can't really do much damage because yes. they just do so little against bills. I wonder how many resources he has here. Ooh, he was always low on resources. Him attacking here doesn't hurt me. If I lose buildings, I get more guys. I do lose that fight there. Uh, these guys back here don't end up really doing anything. Yeah, pulling under here with the muskets, not great. Um, just fire away with your cannons, honestly. Pulling up with the muskets up will hurt you. Here's the thing is, you might be like, why isn't he attacking elsewhere? Well, number one, he doesn't have spies, so he doesn't know where I am. But if he attacked elsewhere, then I could send units here, attacking him. So, and at some point, he will have to attack this. So ultimately, he has to attack this first. Or it, or it doesn't matter when he attacks on. I, yeah, it doesn't matter when he attacks. Yes. 4.6, speedy, like that. Trying to snipe bills. Apparently, it doesn't rebuild them, so that's honestly more helpful than I probably thought it was. Another 22 Marines. These build pretty fast, especially if I find a flag next to them. I tried to get back here to siege factories, but yeah, I just lost all my units. He does rebuild this side, but he kind of forgot about this one. And that'll haunt him a little later. Honestly, does he have any cards? He doesn't have... He has a lot of cards. Um, 
What he needs to do is take these and put these on food. Or coin. Or just build more villagers. Sorry. Shouldn't get mad. Uh, and just be sending this. Honestly, send this. What he needs to do is just send this. Send this. Yeah. Not sure exactly what to say about it. It's kind of sad. All set. Going to Marines come up. Gonna win this fight. He needs more bills. Another fort coming down. Yes. Yeah, right here I was like, oh, I outranged these. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, I can't outrange the cannon, so I cannot. What is your command? Look at that. That's beautiful. I sent another batch up here. Try to get through. Uh, like I already had said, I should have attacked over here a little further over. Right here is too much of a choke point with usually guys. Gonna be pretty fairly bad. No, no, I'm winning this fight. He was like, no, don't let the fort get up. Which honestly, if you can keep buildings from being built with your units, I don't get marines for that, so it's not a bad strategy. Yeah, I lost that pretty bad. Uh, I'm kind of getting beat here, but I am. Anything I lose, I just rebuild back here. So he just has to so slowly progress through my town. Through my fort. I'm ready. As you can see, my score's continually going up. I, I'm not spending resources on units, really. Barely anything. So that's, you know, that's whatever. So I'm just, yeah. I mean, I can't even do anything with all these resources. Honestly, that should just all be selling to build wood, pretty much. No reason for me to have this much coin. I literally can't spend it. Okay, this was a funny moment. Oh no, I missed it. Uh, I started just being like, these guys come out too slowly, I need more things to take. I mean, this is like 300 wood. I'm paying like 1, eight, one wood for 1 HP, but I mean, they do something. I didn't realize their full potential until a little bit later. Right now, they're just getting in the way. So, you know, whatever. He rebuilt that, he did not rebuild that. These guys just don't have enough HP for it to be worth just sending them to the front lines. Like I'm doing here. Like it was helping somewhat, but not enough, I think, to be really worth it. Maybe if I had had a lot more Marines while I sent those, they would have been helpful. But since I had so few while sending these, it just wasn't. And I was still kind of in this mindset of like, I don't want to lose buildings. I still hadn't really fully realized that. Like, oh, losing buildings is good for me. See, if I had spent all that just on building buildings, this whole place could have been filled up, and you had to have to destroy them all over again. I would have been more Marines. Hey, you learn. Another batch of surgeons. Shouldn't be sending those out. Whatever. I do get in here, should have rebuilt that, I do get in and get the factory, so that's good. Orders? Honestly, this was a meme yes. game for me, it was Orders? just fun to do this. Yes. I do get the factory down, they have enough siege I think. No I don't actually get the factory down, he doesn't rebuild his factory. So I come in later and destroy it. All these guys are sitting there. Kind of sad. It's like I probably wasted a hundred marines right there. I could add all those into buildings, and then all those could have been marines. So you can't really build marines, but you can inadvertently build marines. You know what I'm saying? His score starts going up a little bit here. He's kind of pushing me back. 
Uh, still barely any resources though. I don't know if he doesn't have food upgrades or he doesn't have this food upgrade. <laughs> Get rid of the two thousand. Out of here. Oh well. I continue to send these out for some reason. That is a bad choice. But I had enough wood. Oh whatever. Yeah, losing buildings doesn't hurt me. Yes. Borders? Yes. I was trying to send these to block this off. So what I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to send these just to get here so that he can't rebuild the walls. I thought I was being real smart, but he wasn't smart enough to just... He wasn't smart enough just to build there himself. He just forgot to build a wall. What is your opinion? This is fine. Lose the building gain units. I don't know if I can stress this enough how silly of a strategy it is where losing makes you win. Which honestly, that happens, ah, I guess that happens a lot of Age of Empires games I've played. You know, you lose your your town, you lose your bills, but you did have all these resources saved up. So then you get to spend those on more units, more pop on units, all that stuff. So I guess it's not really abnormal to be like, losing makes you win. I don't know if that's how it should be, but it does happen like that. Built this back here. At this point, I could push here, but I think I pull these up here. If I'm correct. Yeah. Winning that fight. I know Marines aren't supposed to be like the backbone of the USA Army, but it's kind of fun using them like that. They're supposed to be like special forces, like, let's go take down the artillery, let's go sweep this down. But they just end up being... <laughs> they just end up being... At least the way I use them is, let's go shoot everything. It's kind of ridiculous. Oh no! Don't give me four marines for destroying that. Oh no. Oh, there's a massive freeze. Okay, right here. This is so annoying. I could have seized this down so much. There was a long freeze. So I lost so many units. Ugh. Can we speed up a little bit? Oh, oh no. It's frozen for me too. Darn. Will it fix? Oh, there we go. Look at all those units I lost. Well, yeah, lost so many units. It was so sad. But you got to experience that freeze too. Probably could add both factories if that had the first. And for the next little while, everything was super speedy. What is your? Wait a while. Got one factory down. He realized it. Rebuilt that wall. That's smart. More surgeons. That's good. Uh, still at six ports. I'm just waiting for him to push. Seven outposts, yeah. No reason for me to do anything, really. Good day, sir. Orders. I was trying to do something sneaky here by like calling up marines here, but uh, I did get the outpost down, so I could siege there freely. But let's speed this up a bit. Not much happens for a time. Hey, I guess that worked.
make another wave. Amazing. Him sieging those? I don't know why. I guess he just wanted them out of the way, but that's just three units for me. So, okay, here's the smart thing. So, building horses is super smart here. Horses cost a lot of food, which he is getting more of. Again, he's not rebuilding bills, which is very bad. But, horses are the best against marines, honestly, out of anything. Because marines have no... No! Marines have no damage multiplier against horses. And they have, uh... Yes? They have very low hand attack, and there's no multiplier against horses. But... Uh-oh. My game froze. Oh, and we're back. Ready? Nothing really has happened. They just siege all that. Just take some pop shots. That's whatever. So yeah, building horses is smart if someone built marines against yes, you. Commandment. Yes. Horses good play. Now marines do have a high enough range attack where they can do okay. I mean they get up to like 55, so even against horses they do do fine. Yes. Uh, but if you can, if they're in big groups, in small groups like this, horses decimate them. 25. Ready? Well, I guess... Two of these. Hmm. Actually, I guess Marines handle horses, because even if they have no multiplier like musketeers, this is still twenty-five hand attack. Yes. Ready. Against sixty-three. That's. So two of these is fifty. Commandment. I don't know. It might actually be. This is almost eight hundred yes. hit points. This is only seven hundred four. Huh. Didn't think about that. Ready. Guess it's a lot closer than I thought. Uh, not sure what I was trying to do here, but I do end up trying to build all these. Oh wait, I think I just realized that all these could be buildings, and they would, when they get destroyed, I get guys from them. Took me a little bit to realize that, but I did at some point. But right now, they're just free pickings. Seen that down. You might be like, oh no, that'll hurt you so much. But they rebuild so fast, especially with settler wagons. Yes. 35. He tries to push out here, but I can just handle it. What is your I'm ready. I should have just gone into hand attack. I'd accidentally control group these with a couple other units, so that was kind of annoying. That's whatever, though. Every time a fort goes down, I rebuild it somewhere else. Yes. Orders ready. I didn't win that easy. I should have been building all these. I guess I didn't realize yet what they could do. Yes. Keep this up a little bit. Not much happens for some time. I was just trying to push over there. Not really doing a whole lot. Yeah, it accidentally controls with this. But you know, I do have what is your command? Yes. 40 here, that's fine. I don't know why I attacked the- oh, I'd seen those cannons. Oh. 
darn. They're actually doing fairly well, I guess. Have a lot of hit points, but I don't know what's going on there. That's kind of funny, though. Oh, there! Now I tried to start building. Them. I was at first. I just tried to start building them. I remember you not. Know, at first, I was trying to start building them just to be annoying. But then once I saw one get destroyed, maybe I maybe at this point I had seen one get destroyed. I don't quite remember. What? The, I think I did. No, I didn't. Oh well, at some point around here, I remember. Or I, I, I had seen that, oh yeah, when these get destroyed, I get units from them. So I started building them all over the place. And it gets kind of dumb. Yeah, just get through one wall here. Should have attacked over here. Very bad on my part. Not the smartest play. Getting a good group over here. Yes. Okay, that's all fine. Just kind of sieging. I could have pushed this here. Now I'm just pumping these out all over the place. Yeah, see, I, I at, at least by this point I'd realized I got units for that. So they're going everywhere. Oh no. Gotta remember, can't really speed this up very long. I can't move while it's speed up very well. Yeah, take those down. I'm guessing at this point it doesn't really have any... Oh, he has some resources. Still 56 bills. 46. Not super happy about that. At this point, would have a better player beat me? Because... You might say that they would have, but again, I just would have had more units then if they started beating me. This guy slowly, very slowly, killing me or destroying my buildings is kind of helping him yeah. I don't know though you can decide yes I know at some point if there were a better player would be at least opinion? I know earlier that if a better player was better player was playing player playing that's gonna sound interesting. Uh, he would have beat me earlier on but at this point I think no matter how good you are you're gonna lose I don't know why I had this on XP. That 343 would be nice. I'll say I should have taken all these. Building these all over the place. How many of these do I have? 22. 22 times what? 8? What's 22 times 8? I don't want to think. Uh, it's like 160 something. So I have 160 something worth of Marines in just mills. I mean, <laughs> I'm getting attacked everywhere, but it doesn't really hurt me. That's just, I'm sorry, that just cracks me up. That just, like, hurting me doesn't hurt me. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it, seems got, it seems silly, honestly. I think I'll title this, uh, How to Break the Game, hashtag number one. Or maybe hashtag number two, since number one, I could change the name of number one of the Dutch. That Dutch game I played, that was ridiculous as well. Super speedy bills and all. I would been, that would be funny. Got a good batch. 70. Got these here. Kind of sad losing those, but do not matter that much. Oh, that was pretty beautiful. 
Did I ever lose this factory? I don't think I did. I think I always have that factory. I should have sent these in though. I love how solid those guns sound. They sound like skirmisher rifles, but like sturdier, I don't know, deeper. I think we can speed up a bit. At this point, the game's pretty much like this until he finally gives up. I I see his score go down, so at some point I realize like, oh, he doesn't have any more many resources. Um which even if he had like a hundred bills, I don't think his re I don't think he could keep up the res. But this has been faster. The resources went down faster with this. So But yeah, it goes like this for a while, so I'll just kind of speed it up. It just keeps kind of being back, little back and forth. It's not like the most interesting back and forth. Some back and forth battles are really interesting, but it's just like musketeers, hussars, marines, and rockets. And you can see everything you need to see here. Clean that up. He's got a mortar down there shooting that. I'll take that down, though. Yeah, uh, he is gaining some resources, but I am winning more at this point. Look at that, 88. <laughs> That's a small little 88. Look, I should shoot. Back up. Shoot. His rocket is the only thing I can reach. That's okay. I can just keep backing up and shooting. And I can dive. If I ever need to dive... And then I can do that first. And then I can just back up again if I want. Oh, that focus fire was so sad. I think I meant to attack move, but. How did, what is these guys' death animation? So the musketeers grab their chests and fall over. Yeah, same. I, I want some more uh, interesting death. Uh, animations. Too many units have the same one. Oh. Get in there, boys. Get in there. Yeah, punch him. Punch him. <laughs> this is such a meme. Oh, my word. Look at that. Just getting in there, punching. Uh, oh. That's hilarious. Oh, I love that. Surgeons and Marines just going in and beat you guys up. Oh, beautiful. Wreck them. 32 cards. Yeah, I, I built a lot. See, he has to kill every mill for me to actually lose booze. Because I can build bills or, you know, settler wagons from these. So he has to destroy everyone. So that's just a lot of marines. Every one of those, I get a marine. Oh, I should have been more diligent. I could have filled up, like, this whole thing with those, and that would have been funny. Probably would have crashed the game those. So many tiny things. These all in sync? No, there are different times. Slightly. No, are they all in sync? No, they're not. Is this one faster? Dupe? Huh. That looks weird. At some point, I did delete one of these and rebuild it over here and fill up like, this whole area with them. Ah, uh, attack move. Annoying. We can speed this back up. Some more surge and marines. Sorry, this is the fun, most fun meme strat I've ever seen. It's just ridiculously stupid and funny to look at. 
cap come in, that's a little rough. Even if my army gets wiped out, though, like, I spend no resources and I get a whole uh, another entire army. I'm not spending, like, no food. I mean, look, like, I get 500 a minute. I only need, like, 400 every, like, four minutes. 400 food. So, <laughs> I literally need, like, nobody on food. I just have tons of coins. Look, think of this. This was a team game. How much you could be supplying your team with resources. Like, you'd just be free. Tons of resources. Did I build this up yet? Yeah, he's running out of coin. He says, when the game ends, I said GG, and he's like, bad game. Like, no GG, bad game. And I'm like, now looking back, I was like, I thought I had just won just because the meme, but also in some way he's just bad. Like, clearly. He killed that fort, so I got 22 there. Where do I rebuild that? Back here. Just have these guys just sitting here. Look, any look, he he beats me, and I just get a batch of like 50 marines. Oh my word, man, that's dull, man. How much does this say this costs? 200, 400. That is worth way more than 200 and 400. I'm sorry, that's just wrong. That's an incorrect price. Look at that. <laughs> I just lost buildings. Oh no, I did send out a batch. Most of that is from just losing building stuff. And we're filling up more. Rebuild everywhere. Ah, oh, it's so dumb. Speed this up a little bit. Oh, all these mills might break the replay. Built so many mills. Look at that. Like, I saw his score is at 1100. Running out of res? No. Yes, you are. Lies. I thought about saying that I can see your score, yes. but whatever. This is also really efficient for line fights because you get the tight. You guys get packed so tightly for like straight on fights. Look at like how many units I'm losing compared to how many units. See all those tens going up for me? Let's go to his. It's boring. You're losing. If he was better, you if you were better, you would have done better. I mean, I could see it being boring on his part, like seeing all this, but also you're not doing so well for yourself. You're not you're not doing so hot yourself, bro. Ah ha ha. Look at all that. So many mills, it's beautiful. 57? <laughs> Think of having to kill 57 mills, and every time you kill one, your enemy gets 8 units. <laughs> oh, it's so dumb. It's so dumb, and I love it. Oh, this game's the greatest. Oh, it's so stupid. Yeah, I outrange, so... Yeah. Wonder what his shipments are like. Yeah, bro, why is your fact just cease any these? Your factory doesn't need to be on rockets.
That's a lot of mills. <laughs> oh. oh, it's beautiful. I feel like I'm in Holland or the Netherlands, or whatever you call them. You have 4,000 HP each. Did not realize that. It took a bit. Like we can speed this up again. We called out another batch of marines. that. Oh, it's fun. Let's speed this up a little bit. Like, yeah, I was worried he was going for my factory, but he loses, like, all of them just running through my town. Oh, no, he's going for trade posts. Ah, oh, here we go. This is good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So guys, if you want to try this strat for yourself, I'm going to change this deck a little bit because some of these cards aren't useful at all. Uh, I'm also going to allow for polar bears if I try this challenge again. Marines only. Um, yeah, there's there's the deck how it is for now. Um, it's It really is fun. Just being able to fill up the map with just tons of mills and estates. And you're basically, your strategy is annoy them to death, annoy them into surrendering while also you yourself just has tons of resources, and if you lose, you win. It's like lose to win. I mean, look at this. Look at this! And to win, to win, he has to kill everything here. Everything. Because he cannot, it does not auto-resign for me. If I just don't resign, I can't lose. See those, so those guys who got stuck. Hey, bros. He does pull up with a bunch of rockets. Like I said, those pop, the, the, he has an extra yes. pop that doesn't really do have any bills. Oh, those are in a control group, that's why those are acting so weird. I think I attacked move, but they just did that. Yeah. I kind of, and here's the thing, I have so much wood, I could have built so many more. But like, I felt no need to, because they're built so fast, that he already has to destroy all these, so every time one dies, I can build two more. So, <laughs> it's ridiculous, guys. It's fine. Yeah, if these are all estates, so it would have been better. 12 each time instead of 8. This would have been worth more. I'm not quite sure what I was focusing on right here. Why well, I wasn't being like regrouping, or why I didn't even send this. That's whatever. What is I'm not sure what's happening right now. I might have been gone. I'm ready. Oh, I 
He's getting a lot of rockets. His resources are going up a little bit as I'm not really fighting him a whole lot. Kind of backing off a little bit. What is your command? Yeah, let him kill my stuff. Like, my oh, look at him. Yes. Yeah, as long as his cannons, if his bop, if his rockets were here, I would have backed off. Him, but... Yeah, look at there, just more. Yeah, as he attacks, I can just, if I lose all these, I'll just build a bunch more here. And if I lose that, I'll build a bunch more here. Build a bunch, lose there. Well, those are already built. Then I'll build here again. Or just anywhere. I can just build anywhere. Yeah, I essentially have him cut off from most of the map. I'm like sieging him, even though he's killing my stuff. I'm sieging him. Pop is these. Six pop them. Oh, that's a lot. Did he finally start sending his rockets? Started to regroup again back here. I'm getting a little worried with all these rockets. Good batch of horses. I should have been more proactive with getting these back to regroup. That's fine. Yeah, don't chase rockets if you're slower than them, guys, and if you're getting attacked by the stars. What is your don't do that. Yes. It's kind of dumb. Oh no! What am I gonna do? <laughs> yeah, I, it, it's a little repetitive at this point, but uh, I don't want to just skip through this because there are. You might, if you know, if you want to skip ahead during this video, you know, whatever. Don't worry about it. Like. Skip ahead to just kind of skip around, see if we find funny moments. Because you know, there it is. It's a long video. I understand like parts of it can be slow. I should probably put in the description. Like, jump around if you want. This is a long video. You no, know, gotta watch the whole thing. But I definitely there are things about this that are too funny where I, I feel like I want people to be able to see. Some of the ridiculousness and this little piece of this, even if it is kind of long. We can skip ahead. We don't need to see all this. Go back in the ports. Can't do anything about it. I am building more mills over here, yes. You hear that in the background, that's more mills. Oh no! Aw <laughs> oh, man. How many do I have now? 61. Yeah. I think this is a good time to. Oh uh, no, no, I need back. Yeah. <laughs> realized me, it passed me, realized it's just as fast as now me, present me. Kind of dancing around. He is getting more, more resources, so his resources are going up. If he had 100 builds right now, well, 
Never mind, he has like full pop. Yeah, I think he, he he was getting bored at this point, and I think he realized there's literally nothing you can do. I mean, there's not anything you can really do to fight this. I think this is the last fight here. Look at that, they're so fast they can just pull away. Oh. Really well done, honestly. That he tried that was he tried to take a good fight there, but with the two forts here. Just pulling it out from under it whenever I want. Another batch of marines comes. 84. I can just push at this point. Yeah. There's no winning for him. I mean, these have so many, these almost have 20,000 hit points. It takes so long for him to kill one, and while that's going, trying, what? It, it, I can, I bet I can build one faster than he can destroy it. I'm ready. Look at that. He can't do anything. At this point, I kind of realize like what I need to do. And uh, if I had been playing like I had played here at the end the whole time, I would have won earlier. Um, it just took me a bit to realize what I really needed to do. Let's look at this post game. Tons of resources: seven hundred eighty-four thousand unspent. Uh, where is this? That's an economy, right? Unspent. He only had 46. I had 490. Four, 400,000, pretty much. Uh, he killed way more units. 1,900 uh, 1, marines. I lost a lot more. But at the time, I was like, how did I lose that many? That's like... How many surgeons is that? <laughs> 1, 9, oh, 7. Oh, wait, sorry. Uh, 2, 6, 4, 7. Minus 1907. So I probably built 600 surgeons at least. Maybe more. Uh, probably, most likely more. I, I really overestimated how many bills I lost. Probably like 700. 700 surgeons or something. Military 2500. Units killed. He actually killed more. That's whatever though. Uh, buildings raised 290. That's really good. But all those buildings gave me more units. So that didn't even matter. All oh, unit count 377. How did I have 377 units? I'm pretty sure that's broken. I don't think I ever had 377 units. But yeah. Yes. I hope you enjoyed that. That was. I think it's fun. It was kind of ridiculous. Like I said, what is I'll put opinion? in the description, like you know, jump around this game if you want to find moments you like. But yeah, that'll be all.